Today, I'm going to walk you through how to read Attentive's customer retention guide. So on the health page of your dashboard, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see the customer retention area. And we're just gonna walk through um, how you should think about this and how you should read the graph. Um, so first things first, what the customer retention chart is going to show is if a customer uh, was seen in a particular month, what's the likelihood that we'll see them again in another subsequent month? So along the left-hand side here, you'll see the months listed. We're always going to give you a rolling uh, six months of data. So starting back in November, we'll have the subsequent months to the current month, which is April. Along the bottom, you'll see the months listed. Month zero is always going to be the month uh, in which we're starting the period. So in this case, month zero for this month is April, and the retention for the zero month is always going to be 100% uh, because that's the cohort we're testing from. Um, reading along from the left to the right, you'll see the likelihood of somebody having come back to your app. Uh, throughout the different months. So the way we'll read this is if somebody first, uh, we saw them in the month of November, the likelihood of seeing them again in March, we'll go uh, November, December, January, February, March, would be 54.36%. Um, similarly, if we saw the person in January, the likelihood of seeing them in February would be January, February, 88.10%. Um, a few things to note about this retention guide. First of all, these cohort months are just months in which we've seen people. So it's not the first time we've necessarily seen somebody. It just means we saw them in that particular month. Uh, so you can be part of multiple cohorts if you're coming back into the app um, in subsequent months. The other thing to note is that the months that are listed here in this orange color, those are months that are still in progress. So it is uh, not quite the end of the month yet. So if you're looking at this in the middle of the month, these yellow orange uh, fields are always going to be ongoing. So please keep that in mind uh, when you're looking at the current month retention, because unless you're right at the end of the month, it's always going to be partial data. Um, so don't be alarmed if that's a little lower than the other areas. And that is how you read the customer retention chart. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out to us by clicking the contact us at the bottom of the screen or by reaching out to your customer success manager that is assigned specifically to your account.